Hi guys, it's Lara from Mad Mimi's Crochet, and I'm having a slumber party tonight. So if you hear anything, that's the boys. My grandson is spending the night, and he and my son should have been sleeping a long, long, long time ago, but they're playing. I think they're having a pillow fight right now, so... That was them. And I'm afraid to even find out what they're doing. But anyway, I have, um, I got two packages today. Um, one is a brand new club that I started getting and I'm trying for three months. Um, so we shall see how that one goes. And the other one is one that I'm probably going to drop in December because I have not been very happy with the color choices that I'm getting. And you guys get to pick a new whip because I have one finished. So, um, the only thing I've done is I've opened up the bags and the first one is coming from Southern Skeins. There we go, right there. It, Southern Skeins is also the third advent calendar, the one that came in the boxes. I was with my grandson all day today, so I haven't had time to even attempt to see if, oh goodness, if these will work to hang them up. I, spending time with my grandson is more important than any advent calendar that there is. So, I uh, love to get to see my, my grandson. So, I have opened this and I will show you guys. It's wrapped in a package. So, I just have to take the package out. This is from Southern Skeins. And it says, Hello Autumn. So it is still autumn, um, although outside by our standards, it is winter time. So there is a piece of tape on here, but I will let you guys see first. Can you see it? I can feel it. But I can't see it. How's it look? Even through that little hole, I can't see it. Ooh, yeah. This is my kind of color. Awesome. This is the November Sock Club. And of course, I don't make socks. So it has a little skein here. And the bigger skein, but just look at that luscious orange. Oh my gosh. I am not making socks with this. No way. It is sock weight. And... It's from Southern Skeins, November 2019 Sock Club, 100 gram sock, which is 75% merino and 25% nylon, <clears throat> excuse me, and the other one is a DK Donegal, I think it says, and it is 82 um, Superwash Merino and 
the rest of it is hemp. So this one is hemp and merino, and this one is merino and nylon. And it does come with a little stitch marker. I love the sound of his laugh. Kind of reminds me of his mama. Okay, so let's see. Oh, we got a tea. Christmas Eve herbal tea. And a stitch marker that says blessed on it. And I th I think the pattern for this is emailed. So this is my first time getting it. Hold on one second. Okay. Yes, they are having pillow fights. But, uh, so yes, this is the November Sock Club. Isn't that gorgeous? And it is so, so soft. I have no idea what, I might just let that sit on my shelf looking pretty. Oh my lord, that is gorgeous. Okay, so there's my sock club. And no, I don't know how to knit socks. And I would never, ever use this yarn, even if I did know how to knit socks. I wouldn't use it as socks, um, partly because I don't wear socks. Even in the dead of winter. There we go. And you see, I don't wear socks. Okay. So I'm going to put that up. I'm going to have to... All my favorite orange yarns. I don't know if I'll ever be able to use because they're just so gorgeous. Okay, so this is going right there and this is well there we go this is from knit picks and it is their crochet club that they have I've been doing this one for about six months and I have not been very happy with it, but I paid in advance, like an idiot. So, um, I've learned my lesson, and, you know, I told him that I was going to drop it unless I got some prettier yarn, because we all know I'm not an earth tone person, and that is pretty much all I have gotten is earth tones. So, I've done that. I did open the tape so you guys can get first look am I gonna like it or am I gonna be disappointed I'll be honest with you I'm afraid to look so oh you couldn't see anything well Okay, I don't know what happened there. Uh, you had paper there, so, and I did see it already. And I'm not much of a happy camper. So, we have, it's called the Lindy Chain. And we have this, hold on. I may never make it through this video. <laughs> Okay, so we have Knit Picks Lindy Chain. And it is a fingering weight. 70% um, linen, 
30% Pima cotton. Hand wash, dry flat in shade. Hmm. So I guess I can't hang it out to dry? I don't know, but we have brown. I'm not a brown person. And we have a yellow gold thing and yeah they go all right together and then we have this kind of other I that's kind of like a blue gray the only one that I do like is this one I don't think that goes very well together they're all the same type of yarn just different colors And it looks like ten times the charm. <laughs> My grandson keeps coming in here. He's supposed to be asleep. So it looks like we're going to be making this scarf right here. Hmm. It's called the Seaside Promenade Scarf. And it's supposed to use a G hook. And the colors are huh ash Honey. Okay, I'm going to guess that this one is honey. Sagebrush. I. I. I don't know. And one is plum. I don't see any plum. I. Unless this is supposed to be purple. That looks brown to me. And this looks like a gray. Dark gray. So, yeah. Not thrilled with the colors again. So I, after t next month, I won't be getting this one anymore. And they sent a... A pen that says handmade. So I'll find something to make with this, but I won't make that scarf. I don't know what I'll make, but something. Okay, so I do have a finished object. Put that right there. And it's actually the one that you guys picked this last time in the cat and dog bag. The um, This is how much yarn I have left over. So this will go in, uh, into my scrap box over there. I left my hook, or I actually took the hook out. I was using an H hook. And the walker caddy is done. I did get a little wonky somewhere along the way. But here's the back of it. And the front of it. There's a little pocket, or the big huge pocket, and the straps for it. So, it'll tie on the walker with these straps up at the top and at the bottom, and whoever my, um, whoever my Shelly um, thinks is going to need it. They will be able to use it. 
and um, that's that. So I will be sending this off to her. I have about 10 packages to mail next week. And um, now it's time for you guys to pick. Oops, I need to put this in here. Add that to my stash so I can fill another one. I don't know. Oh, I think that's what the yarn came in. Okay, so this one is done. Okay, so we have, we're down to three bags. So, it's voting time. And you get to vote between three bags. So, bag number one is the Sparkle Monster bag. If you want me to work on the Sparkle Monster bag, tell me Sparkle Monster. I do know what's in here. No, I'm not going to tell you. That's just how I roll. Okay, second is the chicken bag. I do know what's in here, and nope, I'm not going to tell you. So if you want me to have the chicken bag, tell me chicken. And the last one is the witch's brew bag. So if you want me to do the witch's brew bag, tell me witch's brew. And once again, I do know what's in here, and no, I am not going to tell you. Alrighty. So, tell me which one you want. Do you need me to tell you again? Okay. We have Sparkle Monster, Chicken, and Witch's Brew. So, these are your three choices. Which one will go on to the chopping block next? And I have another one almost done, too. So, you'll be picking again pretty soon. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. I got to get them to bed because the tooth fairy has to come. My grandson lost a tooth at his birthday party this evening. So, I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.